Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey, and this is your monthly tarot card reading predictions for my lovely Leos out there for the month of September 2024. And for this month, we're going to do an overview theme card, pull a couple cards from the Angel Tarot and the Magical Spell deck, and I have postcards from Spirit over here on the side that we will round it off with. But before we begin, let me quickly say thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing um, my, to my social media platforms. I pre appreciate each and every one of you. So let's dive right on in. Ringing my bell, asking for my spirit team to step forward to see what is going on with our beautiful Leos for the month of September. Guys, I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed, blessed month. So what does Leo need to focus on, know, or hear this month? So what does Leo need to focus on, hear this Ooh, everyday magic. I'm trying to read that upside down. It says cultivate magic in the mundane. Daily spirituality and mindfulness. You see, she's washing dishes, dishes there, and it's like, yeah, we got all these chores to do. We can't stay in the high, you know, in the um, conversing with, well, you can. Um, it's asking you to find magic in the everyday mundane chores that we have to do that we don't want to do every day because we'd rather be setting channeling spirit all the time and staying um, in the ether or in the, uh, what is it? I can't think of the word, um, you know, mindfulness of where your thoughts are. That's the spiritual routine that you do. Put on some music when you have to do things that you don't really like, like the daily chores of washing clothes and washing dishes and make it fun. Make it, make it magical. Put on some uh, soothing music. Um, light a candle. Make it sacred. Make the everyday sacred as well. It's when you're really bored, um, you may be that type of person that really gets bored and you're not seeing the magic every every day and everywhere in life, which is there. It's there for those that wish to see it. We've got the three of earth, the six of air, the page of earth. Let's see what else is going on with our beautiful Leos. Creativity, there we go. Be creative. You gotta get creative this month. Don't get bored. You got Aphrodite's love spell and you've got good cheer coming up with here. Let's see, let's take a deep dive and see what's going on with our beautiful Leos this month. I feel like that the universe is wanting you to have fun. Find your everyday magic here. Be lighthearted, not do not take everything so serious. And I think that's where we get uh, a little lost here. Is we take everything so serious and we're really in this illusion. In a dream within a dream within a dream. So Leo, you're going to have to lighten up uh, this month. You're going to have to find the the positive in the negative because I feel like you're coming out of a rough period and I feel like if you're not coming out of a rough period you're going to go into one where you're going to be coming out of one and challenges it's like things are going to start looking up for you a difficult situation is about to come to an end so I see this difficult situation coming to an end that you're um may have been concerned or worried about or had that fear doubt creeping in that had you um really worrying i feel like some news is coming in with your money and there could be some type of 
recognition or uh, movement with your job, meaning you could utilize moving a job or you was worried about losing your job and then you, you're going to find another job. You're going to come out of that, especially for those that haven't found the job. Yet yeah, you're going to find one or you're going to start doing your own thing. You're going to get really creative here. You've got creative card um, down here under the three of earth. So get really creative of ways to make money if you're not working or you're wanting to change it up. You're wanting to uh, change jobs. Start doing your own thing. Create videos, whatever it is, blogs, whatever. There's so many different ways to make money out there. Um, that's going to be coming in for you. Uh, you're getting news again. You got two money cards here, so there's more money coming up um, for you. So good news with your finances, with your finances here this month, especially if you've been having going through a difficult time or struggling with that. But they're wanting you to bring up the creativity and the good cheers down here. So if you're going to be getting creative this month and they want you to be a little lighthearted, we got the fairies down here. So um, look for the everyday magic. Uh, look, make everyday sacred. Look for the fun things. Do something that, that you like to do that's going to bring joy to your life. It's going to bring you more happiness. You've got the Aphrodite's love spell. So yes, you deserve the love and the harmony in your life. And that's going to be coming in for you this month. You deserve it in your relationships. You deserve it in your life. If you haven't found anyone, that possibly could be someone new showing up this month. That could be a potential mate. So put that out there in the universe. A lot of candle a little ritual. If not, I feel like there's more harmony coming in with your current relationships because you deserve that. You deserve the harmony we all do in love in our lives. So good things are on their way and I feel like the difficulties are ending this month for you. Some of you could be going on trips also. There could be some traveling that is needed or that you will be required to do, I would just drive. <laughs> That's me. Not to put any fear or anything out there. I would just drive wherever you need to go. But, you know, do as you will. But, you know, there may be some traveling. Maybe you want to take a trip. Get away from this bonus or this money that's coming in and you think like, oh, I'm going to take a couple of days off. Do something that brings you good cheer and something that you like to do that's going to bring happiness for you, even if it's just for a couple of days. That would be great and wonderful for you. Um, not only for your, your uh, mind, body, soul construct, but just overall energy bring in um new ideas all right this is dear she there are times when loss is a part of life sometimes a loss is welcome like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest skill sometimes a loss is sudden and painful like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking you, asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you re repress the natural expression of loss, try to move on quickly. The unprocessed pain haunts you in a destructive ways. We don't want that for you. We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break. Open wide, feel the loss, and integrate it. See the beauty that was, the lesson learned, and know that as you let go of what has passed, ever more of it of you remain. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you. Sending you love and always and forever. And I've never had that 
this particular card come up, not with all these good cards, and then you have this one about letting go or losing something. So I don't know what that means. You can let me know what that means um, in the comments. It came up for a reason, and I will leave it there. So I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends. Namaste.